Man, I'm not trying to do this by myself. All my casters are dying. Or in bracket. Or both. But yeah, we got VV versus Dark Blue. Um, actually, this would be an interesting matchup because, like, Lucario is now way faster than he was before. And Wolf, coming back, for some reason, is, like, kind of OD. Um, man, I got nothing I can really say about this. Yo, enjoy the, uh... The wonderful silence. <laughs> I'll see if I can find it. Somewhere. All right, guys, getting back into it right now. We have, so this is VV versus Dark Blues. VV has been in a pretty good position since the, or at least right now, he's in a pretty good position. Uh, by the way, it's tragic that in this game, because of the percent system, it's so hard to actually get 69%. RIP. But anyway, point is, uh, going to be closing out that stock, giving it out one apiece. Now, both these guys are actually really hungry for this win. I think that both of them made top eight. Uh, I think, don't quote me on that though, but they're playing for top eight right now, specifically top eight winners, which means the winner of this guaranteed fifth and an even sh bigger shot. So, uh, both of them are really hungry for that lot on the line here. Okay. <laughs> Going for a really hard read there. If it had worked out for him, that probably would have been the game, so I can understand the approach for sure. In the meantime, though, Dark Blues has to get something started. Wolf has really good range, but Lucario, he's just so fast in this game. For those of you who haven't looked at his, like, just the pure numbers on his movement, he has one of the best air speeds now. His initial dash is fantastic. The character just so much faster, so much slipperier, slipperier so much harder to deal with. And really, Vivi's been using that masterfully, just staying this slippery little thing that Dark Blues hasn't been able to get any huge... Big Undershawn, whereas he has all of the power at his disposal. That back is going to be finishing game. And you see, I, I, I had thought, like, literally the last... I was like, I'm going to let you finish your segment. And then that happened. I was like, well, <laughs> all right, there you go. <laughs> hey, Wolf. Hi, Salty. How you doing, buddy? All right, we're doing, doing all going. right. What I'm is this? Uh, one, one zero? One zero? All right, cool. Um, all right, uh, I don't, I'm not sure how how much these two have, uh, have faced off, but I um, I mean, a lot of people haven't faced off yet in Ultimate. This is true. This is true. Um, I mean, granted, like, these guys are both pretty it's solid. solid at it's the battle of the animalistic cousins. All right, so we got a wolf versus a dog over here. We got Dark Blues versus Lucario. Uh, VB actually took game one, and he is just moving right now. Yeah, Lucario actually can get some damage in that low percents. That forward air is so fast. 
It's such a good move. It's like it's like a chic fit. <laughs> what, are you, what are you crying about, Wolf? Is something wrong? Is something wrong when I say it's like it's a chic, chic Just fan? Just leave me alone. All right, all right. So let's get back to the match. Okay. So yeah. right now. Dark Blue's trying to get DVD at a disadvantage, but notice that when Dark Blue's actually doesn't, when and, and that's the thing that you'll notice that a lot, a lot of Wolf players do when they don't Ooh. feel when they don't feel confident in like the the, the, the advantage, the disadvantage that, that you're in. Uh, you know, you'll, they'll often just opt out to like back out with the laser. Just like you know, let me reset, see what's going on a bit more. You know, can we talk about that recovery that uh, PB had just a little while back there? So the snaking. I feel like there's more control over that move than in previous games. So that was like masterfully woven. All right, oh, fine. Nice. Good option coverage right there. Yeah, that sort of disadvantage is going to be necessary for uh, BB because he's been trapped at the ledge this entire time on wonderful tech. Oh! Uh, down until it's still not finishing it. Oh, he's at 170. Oh, oh. I, oh. I, I'm scared for I'm scared for Blues right now. I'm scared for Screw me. BB. I'm scared for Blues because <laughs> if he gets touched. If I oh. get touched. Oh, oh. Uh. oh my god. That Sheesh. is what I'm talking about. Vivi is super powered up right now. And <laughs> Dark Blue is just... I'm pretty sure he's at a loss for words after that match. After that, uh, well, he has one word, which is right back at you, kid. Also, I just... I really want to talk about how the Pokemon on this stage, like, they go in the background, chill, and then they just, like, <laughs> my planet needs me the heck out of there. Yeah. Have you ever so, seen, have you paid attention to that? No, uh, I don't know. I mean, this stage is, this stage is wonderful. I like it. I mean, I love this stage, but like, Melodic flies off into the heavens. Just with UFOs. All right, anyway, getting back to the match, you know, something that's a relevant Pokemon right now is Lucario having, um, oof, doing a, like, I, oh, God yeah, dang no, it. He's the playing. momentum that's involved, like when Lucario, even if like the stock gets returned right back after, he just comes back with For fresh sure. mentality. But just. New rage, but just Why? look at how look at how Vivi is playing this match. Any time that he's not he's not confident that he's gonna get a hit, he's he's throwing hitboxes, but he's retreating, forcing Dark Blues to like yo like you're not gonna hit me if I'm throwing this out and I'm retreating. You don't have the range to do so, and Dark Blues needs to find it out. You know he's 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 noticing that and he's starting to throw out that laser a little bit more, which is definitely what I want to see a little bit more. Oh, the up B almost taking that stock, actually. The Ritu. VV jumped. <laughs> he jumped into it. Just the coverage of that. Oh. The, the next, okay, taking a stock here is going to be pivotal for both characters. The forward air almost doing it. Oh, and every one of Lucario's moves just did so much damage at this point. But wow. there it is, taking out that stock. Finally, a, a actual stock lead. Look at Whimsicott. Whimsicott's just... just going off. <laughs> Not doing her own thing. So like, yeah, I've seen everything I need to. Right, but I think v Dark Blues has got this. <laughs> but VV ha is at, you know, he's at the point where he can he can definitely do this, but if Dark Blues, Dark Blues is capitalizing, man. He's already at 56, 62 percent and he, he is just, he is just using that laser, man. It's not just the laser, though. Yes, of course, the laser is well, a big yeah, part of Boros you know in the approach. Mean. But then as soon as Vivi goes in towards him, that's when he starts him up with the neutral airs, the back airs. It's mm -hmm. not just, you know, throwing this projectile and hoping it keeps him at bay. The projectile is essentially, it's the cue. It's the cue of, okay, you have to do something. And yeah, if you no, don't... It's forcing It's forcing him. I'm going to keep on eating these lasers if I don't approach. And once he's forced, that's when he's actually able to really effectively respond. Um... That reflector, something you actually saw a little bit earlier on in the oh, set. Oh, that two down frame. smash! Yep. That down smash is super good for, for catching two frames. It is possibly one of my favorite moves in Wolf's arsenal. Well, that's right, you're a wolf meme, huh? Yes, I am. Wolf. It's uh, Wolf, Pichu, and Sheikah. Hoping uh, for those Sheik buffs. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's okay. I'll use Wolf and Pichu in bracket. <laughs> but, like two top. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I need a third. I need a third. Leave me alone. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's 1-1. One, it's one, one. Uh, that, perhaps, uh, the, per, yeah, we're going back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Perhaps Vivi didn't really like how how Unova kind of played out. Um, you know, sometimes, sometimes uh, the background might, like, cause, like, for example, I don't go to Final Destination like the normal one because of the, because of the background. There's a lot of things happening on, go, going on. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to look at all that. I just want to fight. I mean, I think another part of it is that if you win on, I think you won on Pokemon Stadium 
Yeah, Two. and that's uh, and that's something you know. It's like you know, if you didn't ban it, we're gonna go back. Yeah, and oh my that God. last game, it wasn't really the stage that made the difference. Oh, I mean, it might have in some capacity, but you saw the way Darkwing was just playing at the end. He was doing just such a fantastic job reading Vivi's options, forcing him to do exactly what he wanted him to. Mm -hmm. And that's carrying over right now, 86%, almost unanswered. Sure, and you just watch how Dark Blues actually just uses these nares. More instead, uh, he, he's constantly, the thing about Dark Blues is that he always has a hitbox out. So if you do hit him, you're probably going to trade. And that's and that and that's his game. Like, you know, he's, oh, getting with the back air read. Oh, that's not off stage. Oh, Falling oh, there. Oh, this is actually super scary. Nice. Once again, he's at 130% range. That's it. Like, I, why did I have to talk here. about that? I have both a blessing and a curse. You're at fit. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, right back at you, BB. As we're going into the second school well, first. Right back, right back at you, kid. <laughs> Basically. Two stocks for both competitors right now, as right now they're just wandering around the neutral, seeing what they're going to do. Bread and butter from BB. Okay, we get that fair chain. Nice. That awareness. counter looks so much cooler. I don't know if it's better. I don't know if it's actually has more utility, but it just looks so cool now. It, it does. It does. All right, Vivi has the advantage. Ah, uh, doesn't cover the roll. He maybe thought he was gonna neutral get up, which is why he grabbed. Okay, fair. If you don't space, it's not safe on shield. Oh, hitting him again with that aura sphere. Sure. All right, comboing the dash attack. Oh, he saw that. He threw out the forward air. All right, all right, these forward, forward smash. smashes are like re Vivi is in the library right now, and the book that he's reading is Dark Blues. EX. <laughs> <laughs> all right, oh, trying to, you know, may maybe uh, have him be scared to throw out that horse sphere. The <laughs> dash attack. Dark Blues in the Chamber of Secrets. Anyway, getting back to this, uh, this <laughs> uh, okay, if Dark Blues has to actually be terrifying. Because oh, he might not, I mean, of course he can die. Oh, All right, now, and now he's a little bit out of danger. But it's important to remember that Lucario also does extra damage when he has aura. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you don't want to be taking a bunch of hits. So now, but now he's big chilling. And if his aura works anyway, like in, uh, like in last game, the fact that Lucario is at one slot is kind of a blessing and a curse. Well, I think it's actually the difference sometimes. Well, the, that's why I said if, if it works. <laughs> I don't I'm, not, think, I'm not really I, sure. Is there really Anubis mechanic in this game? I feel like there isn't. I feel like they would have taken... That was so much fun, though. It was ridiculous. It was absurd. Oh, no! Oh! 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 Oh, oh, oh Vivi getting kind of cocky right there. I, I can't believe that Vivi actually would have done that. Uh, don't talk to get body. <laughs> All right. Ooh, actually getting the footstool. Wait, does, do phantom footstools also give the boot sound now? I'm not sure. Oh, catches oh, it with taunt. the Oh, you uh, might be regretting that. And then this is this is when the forward smashes happen. <laughs> Both socks have been by a forward smash, but maybe Ooh. Dad, he didn't quite get the, the command shield grab. pressure. All right, if I'm BB, you know you want to. You, you can't. Maybe you want to fully charge Aura Sphere. <gasps> <gasps> you're dark. You have to be so careful. Like, what are you? It feels like everything is just too much of a commitment against this character. But no, but Wolf, Wolf has some tools. There it is. And scoops him up with the up smash. It's not enough. Not enough. Are no, you kidding we, me? We still live in. Lucario is still out here swinging for his life. He wants the back air. He wants a dash attack. Dash it's attack still is not going to do it. Is he going to get the two frame? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so dangerous. Ah, That's ah, going to be ah, it. No. Ah, oh my God, I and there's the back air. That has it. to be it. Oh, man. That was... Such an epic showing by Dark Blues. What a nail biter of a set, but Dark Blues managing to come out on top. Oof, he's I mean, guaranteed himself a spot in winter semis. Yeah, Dark Blues is a very he's a, he's a very, very strong wolf. And and just look at this. <laughs> I he has to be careful with the rolls. And you know, at, at that high percent, um, you know, a wolf is gonna want either a back throw, uh, a nair. Or a bear, you know, or an up tilt. <laughs> if you land on top of him, <laughs> bless up tilt. You know, Dark Blues, there were some people who were sort of skeptical about his transition into a new Smash game. I think he's so much better in this game. He's so much better in this game. He I, 